Hey everybody, so we have another teardown. Um, this time we're going to go a little bit um, old. This is a uh, Solatron digital voltmeter. Uh, model number is the LM1619. Um, this probably dates from around about the late 60s, early 70s from what I can gather. Um, there's not a huge amount of information on this um, that I can find on the interwebs. Um, so uh, I'm not 100% sure when this actually really dates from, but uh, it is pretty old school. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick look around the outside of it and then we'll take the top off and uh, see what it's like on the inside. Right, so on the front here we've got the front panel display. We have a auto manual switch. I'll explain what that does in a moment. Um, we have uh, the range selection knob, which is a big old clunking proper old school um, um, gang switch and we have uh, banana jacks on the front here which is of, uh, actually in pretty good condition they're a bit a uh, little bit crusty and we have a, a sample button here um, I'll explain what that does as well when I turn it on this is all mounted inside a, um, a pressed steel vinyl covered case very old school Nice grey and beige. Um, we've got a um, carrying handle here. Underneath, um, notice there's lots of ventilation holes on this. Um, we've got uh, the feet, tilting bale, old, old school stuff. Uh, on the back, not really much to see. Uh, we just have a fuse in the power inlet. Um, also note there's no on switch so this um, powers up as soon as you plug it into the mains right so I'll just uh, power this up uh, so you can see it uh, see it working I've just got it connected to uh, my variac down here I have had it on already so I know it's okay so that's it uh, powered on if I stick it into auto it'll start sampling and then eventually when it warms up, there we go. Right, I've just got this connected up to my uh, bench power supply just so I can run through some of the voltages. I've also got my uh, uh, bench multimeter connected up to it as well so we can check the calibration. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a Nixie, Nixie tube display. And uh, with the uh, this switch in the auto position, it just samples, what's that, about every half a second or so. Um, and then manual, it um, it just stops sampling and it's literally down to pressing the sample button. And we're on. So at the moment, uh, my power supply is saying um, 103 millivolts, which is pretty good on here. One and a half volts, five volts, okay I wonder whether this is just slightly out a little bit, uh, my uh, my multimeter is saying 19.000 uh, whereas this is 19.045 so maybe it's just slightly out on the on the higher range. So that, uh, that 19 volts on the 200 volt range, we've got 18.9 and the kilovolt range, we've got 19. So on here, um, on the uh, range selection knob, there's, uh, there's plastic's a bit broken. Uh, we've got 200 millivolts, 2 volts, 20, 200, 1 kilovolt and we've got this Cal 10185. No idea what that does. Um, We've got, uh, on the AC range, we've got 750 volts, 222, and BTY, 14 volts. I'm not entirely sure what that one's for either. Right, so uh, let's take the top off this and see what it's like on the inside. Okay, so uh, the top and bottom cover come off by removing these two plastic bits at the back. Right, as you can see, it's pretty old school in here. Um, so we have uh, mains transformer here, 
couple of filter caps. Um, I should also mention the um, the screws that I just took out. They've got rounded um, rounded heads on, so things have obviously been opened up in here previously. That cap looks new, um, so it, it could well be this has been opened up before and repaired for various reasons. Okay, a uh, quick look at this. We've got mains transformer, we've got a couple of filter caps, we've got a board which runs the length. This also contains a couple of uh, vacuum tubes. Uh, we have the mains input fuse just here. Notice there is a lot of um, point to point wiring. It's all really nicely put together with um, tied up looms. So I'm guessing that this is the uh, section which does all the actual um, measurement of the voltages. There appears to be another board underneath. So we've got two vacuum tubes here, pretty dusty. So this one here is a Mullard CV4003 and this one is a, a Mullard 83A1. As you can see here as well, it's all been all the looms been tied, stitched together. So down at this side we have um, the three Nixie tubes just poking out, out of this uh, little plastic enclosure. We've got the big clunking rotary selection switch stuff over here. These look like um, coax cables. So the uh, the rotary knob actually comes through into this into this area. We got uh, so we got uh, we got a few trim pots here, a few trimmers of some description anyway. And we've got some big high value resistors here. That's nine M nine, so that's ten meg. And these are all mounted on standoffs so I'm not sure what uh, what that is and just on the top of this shielding can we've got some something bodged on here Ah, looks like some battery terminals, so I suspect uh, there was a battery in here at some point. Looks like it's got a, some kind of holder for a battery or something, and that, that was the connections for them. So just looking at this power supply section here on the, uh, the other end, um, it looks like this cap's been replaced at some point. Um, that looks like an RS. RS branded one. Um, I can't, doesn't seem to want to come out at the moment, but I can just see a date code around the other side of um, 1983. So the, the that original filter cap obviously went bad over time and somebody's replaced it at some point. Wow, that's a lot of transistors. <laughs> um, I'm guessing. Um, Judging by the layout of, uh, of all these here, is these are the transistors which actually drive all the Nixie tubes. Yeah, there's, you can see the traces coming over to the... You can just see the, uh, the outline of the packages, the tubes just here. Down here in the bottom corner we have the, the other side of the transformer. We've got another filter cap with some quite serious dents in it. Hopefully you can see that there, but there's a huge great big dent in the side of that capacitor. I wonder whether some of these tried to lever that out and they've 
they've deformed it. And right next to there we have uh, two bridge rectifiers. So wow, don't look, don't these PCBs just look um, so organic with the the lovely sweeping traces and everything's all just so analog. So we'll just uh, try taking out this this board here. So there's just a couple of screws holding this um, this board in. Oh, there's two up there as well. Oh, I see. This is on a hinge. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So here we have the underneath of that shielded can um, and the underneath of the the main voltmeter board. Now there's definitely some work being done on this in the past. Well, look at those traces. It's like some kind of map. Um, there's, uh, looks like there's definitely been some work done on this. Um, there's most of the places, it's all nice and clean, but then there's various parts of it around here, which are a whole lot more crusty. Uh, I've got flux residue left. Indeed, actually, it looks like there's been a track repaired here. Hopefully you can see that, but there's a, you can see the track here and then somebody has soldered on a small bit of wire to repair the track. And there's also lots of, uh, lots of soldering and stuff going on around here. This is the display board, which is on the the hinge. And there's obviously been a load of other repairs and various things happened over the years here. Looks like a bit here, there as well. Of course, we have the three Nixie tubes. And they are Mullard. ZM1080. Right, so uh, that's it all back together and it uh, it is working still, which is always a good sign when you've taken something to pieces that it stays on working. Right, I don't think there's much else to say on this now. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the inside of that. Um, if you did, hit the like button. If you uh, not subscribed, um, hit the subscribe button. Um, right, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you on the next video.